Hey guys, welcome back to Poetica. So it's been a little while since we played. And do you see that? Do you see all these little fish down there? Let me let me do something here. Um Yeah, there's some issues. So there was an update with this with this pack. So we have the newest well, not the newest Terraformer Craft, but like a new version of Terraformer Craft, which is awesome, because it did add some nice things that we can look at in a bit here. But there seems to be a weird issue with these yields, these better with mods, uh, better animals plus uh, yields. And I turned them off in the config already. For some reason they're still, it says there's more, but there's not actually. Um, the first time I launched this, I actually, like I got like, oops, uh, what was that? Oh, the, maybe the game just caught up or something. No, it's a show shows them here. Anyway, there were there were like hundreds of these guys uh, spawning in this pond, and I would get like two frames per second or less. Um, and I killed them all, and then like within like two seconds, several hundred spawned right away. So big problem there. So I turned off the eels in a config so they don't spawn anymore. So that should hopefully fix it. Um, but yeah, it's possible that there will be some issues here and there. But last episode, uh, if I remember correctly, we did our little animal stuff here. We got our little friend and some animals. I still need to... Oh, there's like a shooting star. I don't know what these are from. I think they're from the Nyx mod. This, this, this like moon mod. What? Did something just land next to us? I want to see what that is. Like landed over there, but I don't know what that is. I haven't found any of these things yet. Um, yeah, we best with the animals. We still need some animals, but um, I think I want to focus a bit more on the metal stuff today. I'm so confused. I'm so sidetracked by things, but yeah, we'll we'll get into that. But hey, something that's really cool. Let's uh, put this in the center. Is that we can actually make food now in, terra uh, in terracotta in terraforma craft? Man, my brain is not working. I've been playing Animal Crossing all day, so. Now we could make, for example, a bowl, and with with, the, with that bowl we can make uh, salads now, I believe. So we might have to try this out at some point. We can also make bread and stuff, but I don't really have any form of, you know, bread or something. I don't think um, our our rye. No, what was it called? What was it called? Jude has grown. I did harvest it. Uh, I think the maize is not done yet. I could be wrong. But I'll leave it there for now. And I did place a couple of chests in our house here now. If you go in here. So there's a wall of chests now. Not the prettiest, perhaps. I'm actually... I don't know. I don't like it anymore. Um, I think it's just, like, too much. I mean, it's awesome to have all the storage, of course. But just... I, it's not very, like, immersive, I guess. Or there's all the jute. You know, it's not very... I don't know, pretty. Just having this giant wall of chests in front of our windows too and such. So I'll probably rearrange this. I might actually build a cellar below and then put everything in there. But we shall see. I'll 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 work on that, I guess. But yeah, we can make uh, salad soups, I think, and uh, sandwiches now. So we definitely want to check this out once we get a little bit more food stuff. We don't really have too much. Um, also, one thing I figured out is the so this freshwater flask, right? I kept saying like, oh, why is it like empty and stuff? Um, it actually loses durability over time, so it's basically leaking. There are other water flasks. There are these iron ones, which I'm guessing might not leak, perhaps? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, after a while, I don't know if it happens if you just stand still, but usually if I, like, you know, travel through the world and stuff, eventually that durability goes down, and eventually it's just completely empty. Don't, can't really demonstrate right now. Um, putting it in a jar or in a vessel, though, seems to actually keep it from, you know, spilling. So I keep it in there for now, which is, you know, maybe, I don't know if it's cheaty, but it works. So I'll do it so I don't always have to refill it. Um, but yeah, today we want to work a little bit on some metal stuff. So I did make more bronze ingots here. We have them all. I don't actually know... Um, there's no way to grab them all at once. Oh no, I think you can break them or something. We have 15. I want to make um, like the outfit, the, uh, the Bronx armor and such. And we also need to get a Bronx. Oh no, we have the Bronx anvil over here, right? Um, yeah, I need to make a little bit more. I did get a little bit more copper. I still have to go mine though. It's not, it's not a ton. But I would like to make the armor. And the armor also requires 24 ingots, like normal, you know, Minecraft, vanilla Minecraft would required in uh, 24 ingots so we're almost there 
But there are things that we can do to make our life a little bit easier, actually. Is that over here? I don't think it... Oh, there's more copper in here, too. I totally forgot about this. Cool. So we actually have more than I thought. Uh, awesome. I guess I'll leave that. No, I'll take it with me in case I need it. Yeah, I, I want to make something that we were kind of stuck on in the last series. And that is the uh, Crucible. That's what it's called. The Crucible. This guy. This one makes it a lot easier to actually mix ingots and also, yeah, kind of just, or mix alloys, I should say, and just kind of like store them a bit better. We do need to get this fire clay for that, and for that we need graphite and kaolinite. Um, these are the things that I had issues finding last series, but we actually found all of this this series already. I don't remember, though, if I grabbed any of them. Because that would have been smart if I did, but I don't think I actually did. Well, we have a little bit of graphite, but I don't think we actually grabbed any kaolinite, did we? No, I don't think so. But we do have it marked on the map in our lake Scoopaloo. Um, should be up there, right? So I'm just going to have to head over there again. Something else I would like to try eventually is... You know, we do have horses. What is torches? Just kind of like checking what I have, because it's been a few days, so I don't actually quite rem remember. Uh, we do have horses in this pack too, which we now can ride. And I'm curious if we can actually, you know, crossbreed the donkey with the horses in this to get mules. Because mules are basically almost as good as, um, uh, as horses. But they have the benefit of, you know, being able to carry items on them. So, kind of like donkeys. Uh, those chickens still being derpy. Um... <laughs> So apparently the issue with these guys is, is that their head is at the top and not at the front. You guys pointed it out. So weird, these guys. But from what I heard, I don't know if that's fixed already or it's going to be fixed in in the next update or something. I'm pretty sure they're working on fixing those models, so they should be less happy. But let me go ahead over to the Kaolinite um, spot and grab some stuff and then we can continue. Ah, there we go. There it is. Let's go mine a bunch. Well, the good news is we got some kaolinite. The bad news is we only got four because I can't find more. So let's actually check. Did I? There it is. Let's actually check if there is more here. Oops. Uh, yeah, there is still stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to find it, I suppose. Yeah, I would say like right here is where we should check. There it is. There's more. Hopefully this is gonna be like the actual vein here. So I didn't bring any support frames with me though. So I'm just gonna have to like make some real quick, I guess. All right, so we have like five stacks here. I think that's okay for now. I don't actually know how much we'll need of this, but I think I'm gonna get, or try to get out of here again. Um, because it was nighttime, I keep hearing these like shooting stars now. I don't know if that's just, like if that happens so often now. I actually don't have a way out, do I? Because I didn't bring ladders or something. Um, if that's, if that's just a thing now with the update, that something in that moon nick spot, whatever it's called, changed. Oh, let's actually break this. But yeah, there's so many like shooting stars outside now for some reason. And oh, it's not a shovel. I'm not entirely sure what they do. I can't really figure out what they are used for. I try to, try to like kind of locate them, but I don't really see them. So I'm not sure. What they are for. Look at this. Wall jumping. Wall jumping is awesome. But it is daytime now. So just turn daytime so we don't hear it anymore. So we can head back home. Home sweet home. And something else I noticed. If I place down a torch now, there seems to be a difference. They still stack. So I can't stack these anymore. So maybe the MBT changed. So what I can probably do is like do something like this and I'll just pick them all up again, right? And then I stack in the new stack. Yeah, so these are like old torches, I guess. I don't know what changed. I don't know if they're going to be different now. If they burn out differently or something. This is also a change in the new version. You can't like spam, like spam drink anymore. There's a bit of a delay now between every little slurp, which is kind of interesting that they changed that. The full moon is rising, it's saying. Wait, is it already getting nighttime again? Was it just, <laughs> was it just getting daytime? I don't know what happens at the full moon. Uh, there's actually a horse here. I'm kind of curious. Can we just, like, bring it with us? Just so we can try out the breeding later on. Well, I actually don't know. It is a male. And we have a female donkey. Okay, so maybe that's going to work. I don't know. We'll try. 
Oh yeah, so to tame them, totally forgot again, we have to like, do that first. Oh, and our sheep's got wool again, so I can shear them again, nice. So, I think it takes about like three days maybe? Three or four days perhaps? For them to regrow? Could be wrong, but yeah. And the rain stopped! Wow, that changed quickly. Okay, horse is ours. Awesome, I don't know how good she is or anything. Um, now, how do you breed horses again? <laughs> I actually have no idea. <laughs> Why do I not know that? Okay, so, you know, my cur in normal Minecraft it would be like golden apple or golden carrot, but in this, it's... You just have to get them familiar and then feed them. I'm just kind of curious. Is this, is this done? No, that's not done yet, according to the, the wiki picture. I just need some sort of oats or something again. Grains or whatever to, like, feed them, you know? Oh, we have some mice in here. Okay, we can use that. Should be able to use that. So I think that was with a knife, right? Do we even have a knife anywhere? Let's just make a bunch of knives. Oh, not like that. Uh, and then, yeah, let's just cut this off so that we get the grains. No, not how we do it. Uh, actually, maybe we could just feed the mice because on the wiki it says mice. It doesn't... Oh, foam rising. It doesn't say anything specific, so... Yeah, that should work. Okay, feed you. Can you come over here? You have to like bring them close apparently. Yeah, I don't I don't know if that's gonna work. I think we have to familiarize them more first. Like we actually have to get the hearts up first. So gonna have to do that a couple of times unfortunately. But let's grab also our wool. Oh, well, I guess we have to refeed them, huh? Oh shoot. Yeah, we need to I think I need to focus a bit more on our food situation and stuff so we can actually get more of those grains and so on going, because, yeah, it's, it's not doing so well otherwise. I guess once we get the, our first harvester of mice or something, maybe that will be good. Although the mice, if it's just, I don't know how much we get out of it, because, you know, if it's just one per thing, that's not going to be great. So we probably need a way bigger field of, like, rice seeds or, you know, wheat or something. Was this wheat over here? Oat. Yeah, something like that. So I might work on that soon. Uh, but anyway, that is not what we want to do right now. We want to focus on our little... Um, actually, it goes in the door. A little situation here. So the next thing we need is actually a kern. This guy. So we need some smooth blocks. I don't know if it has a has to be a specific one. Um, any form of stone or stone brick. And, and then also for this, we need... Some sort of some sort of stone. So I think we can grab like this stuff here. And is it? Yeah, this counts as stone too. So maybe that will work. I'm not sure. We'll have to try. Oh wait, we can do this in our inventory. I forgot. All right. So can I make this in here? Oh, it doesn't actually tell me. Yeah, we can make it in here. There's no JI auto completion. Um, actually. Maybe I should make more of these, to be honest. Let's see if we can make at least two. I mean, we could probably make more, right? How many could we make? It just uses that stone. Okay, let's make four of these guys. There, you hear that sound again? I really want to know what's up with these shooting stars, man. <laughs> they might be useful. I don't know. But anyway, let's go put this together. So we just placed... Um, here for now. Uh, I really need to find better spots for things. And then we put these on top. There we go. And then we take our kaolinite and our... Where is it? Graphite. Where did I put it? Even? I think it's still outside. There it is. Graphite. And we have to grind this down in these. So I think we just right click. No. Oh, up here in this little slot. Ah, oh, that's cool. Oh, it takes the whole stack now. Okay. So let's actually split these. Half there, half there, half there, and there. And then you hit this little wooden pin. It's like a tiny little collision box. Just right click. And it makes this cool sound and it grinds it down. And there you go. It's like placing it around. So it seems like it makes four dust pair thing. So let me go do this all. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Dur, 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 dur. I don't know the lyrics. Nice. That's all of them. And then we just right-click that spot to pick them up. Uh, eh, eh, there. Uh, nope. Something happened here. Whoa. Whoa. 
That was a weird dupe. Uh, not really dupe, but just a little glitch. Okay, cool. So we got that. And then we grab some clay, which I may or may not have anywhere. Is it outside? Um, do we really not have any clay left? Wait, we also have... Where's our little... Where's our little um vessel? Our large vessel. <laughs> not the little vessel, the large vessel. Oh, here. No, it's not in there. Well, looks like we don't have any clay, so I'm gonna have to go find some, but I did mark it, so it's not a big deal. Oh, I need a new shovel, though. Arr. I guess I'll make a stone shovel for now. That's a huge group of creepers. Wow. Should I should I go in there too? Oh, in the skeletons. Uh, maybe I'll wait till daytime. You know, just kind of looking our, at our situation here with just the crops and such. You know, we don't really have a lot of space for crops up here. And I don't think there is like a pond or a pool of water like right next to us. And we can't move water in this until we get some of the fancy buckets later. So what I could imagine doing is either here or over there. You know, we have like this type of stone that's like floating. Or we could even use planks. Maybe I'll build a platform underneath the water, one block below, out of this stuff or planks, and then put dirt on top so we can kind of extend this outwards a little bit because, you know, otherwise the dirt will just fall down and then have water streams come in so we have, like, a much bigger field because, you know, we don't really have a lot of room. I think this might also be done. Ah, I'll try it. Nope. <laughs> God damn it. Ah, <laughs> oh, I hate that it doesn't tell me if it's done or not. Or I, that I can't right click. Anyway, it is daytime. Let me go get some clay. I'm actually running low on food, so hopefully all the stuff is going to grow soon that we can then make some food out of that. Uh, but I do have our clay, so we should be able to make this now. So let's go to fire clay. This stuff down here. Oh yeah, we can't do this. I guess I'll do it myself. Oops, come on. It's not that difficult. There we go. And I don't actually know how much we need of this. Should we just make all of it? Let's make like 16 maybe. Like half, right? Oh no, that's all of it. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, we have made all of it. Um, yay, fireproof. And then, so with the stuff, if you look at use, we can make these fire bricks, which later, I don't know if they're going to be used for much. Smeltery fire box. Ooh. I don't know what that is. Electric forge. Heat metal using the power of electricity. We don't have electricity in this pack as far as I know. So that's not going to really help us. I don't know what this firebox is. That sounds interesting though. Might have to look into that. Anyway, so that doesn't seem too useful. Um, but then here are all the things we can nap out of it. So the crucible is the one we need. That's just the same stuff, right? Interesting. So it's just like this. So let's do that. And there it is. It cost five, similar to clay. Well, actually, I think we might actually need a second one later of this. Uh, because if you look at this, we can make the blast furnace out of that. And then also later the tinker stuff, right? With the blast furnace. But yeah, this one will let us make or mix alloys a little bit more easily. So from what I understand, the way this works is we put this on top of our porch like this. Can we still reach the bellows? Uh, yes, we can. Awesome. A little bit awkward there, perhaps the placement, but... It will do for now. And yeah, if we just heat this up now, we should be actually able... Let's just do that. And there we go. You can kind of still click it. Yeah, we should be able to, uh, to smell things directly in here. So the interface is a little bit different than it was before. But I don't think that should be a big deal. So, you know, before it was always like... Uh, we kind of did like this whole... Um, it was like A2 something... No, nine, nine native copper and then one rich cassiterite. Nine and one uh, was kind of the ratio that we use. But with this, we can be a bit more precise. So I'm actually going to do nine for now. And I guess we do it like this, perhaps. I haven't tried. I haven't used this at all. I'm excited that we can finally use this because that is what I tried to get in the last series. And I couldn't because uh, I couldn't fight a kaolinite. This seems to be heating up faster. Like, I'm not actually using the bellow currently, and it seems to be going seems to be going quicker than usual. But we'll see what happens once it is heating up, so that seems to work. And what should happen is that we see this go in here, I think. I think we'll actually see the liquid. 
And up here it should tell us how much percent of a specific, you know, value we have in here. And, you know, if you if you actually mess up like a ratio before, you would get this weird, um, you would get this like weird ingot. I think you might be able to even fix that in here. I'm not entirely sure though. I, I might have to move this bellow to the side here though, because it is, it is a little tricky to to do that. I'll, I'll wait for now because I'm actually not sure if that's going to mess something up if I do this right now. Because it's really difficult to get that spot there. Faint red. Um, so we might do that. The other thing is, so I do want to make a shovel for example, right? Um, actually, I wonder if you can cast in here too. Huh. I'm not entirely sure. We'll try that too. Let's try it first maybe because if we can just cast in this thing directly into like a shovel mold or something. That would be awesome. I'm going to try the ingot one first. Oh yeah, you must be able to. That's how you get it out there, right? So let's maybe make a shovel one real quick. And uh, burn this in here. So we get that as into a actual mold. And then we'll see if we can just directly cast this into here. But we'll also need to heat up a bunch of these anyway for armor. If we look at the Bronx armor, and ideally, I want to make all the armor eventually. Um, so we have to make... To make the armor, you have to make the unfinished piece first. And you have to combine it with a double sheet. A double sheet is two sheets. And each sheet is a double ingot. And each double ingot, you know, is just melded, uh, welded together ingot. So it's a little bit of crafting. And then the unfinished bronze piece is also a double sheet. So we need a ton of these double sheets. And sometimes we only need the normal sheet from what I've seen. So the Greaves, for example, they use a normal sheet here. Bronx, a double sheet to make, but then you weld it with a bronze sheet. So something to consider. But anyway, here you can see we have 100% copper in this now. So if I were to add like, let's do like four, right? Because that will break the ratio. Uh, it will tell us then like how much, you know, how much of each type we have. And it will probably say like unknown alloy or something. And then we can just keep adding, you know, copper or something to keep balancing out this, out this ratio. So it's, it's pretty, it's pretty useful. And at some point we should just explore the world a little bit and see if we can find any coal veins. Because, you know, always using the charcoal is a little bit expensive and annoying to make. And it, it's gonna burn through charcoal really quickly with this because you have to constantly keep this heated up too. So it's probably a little bit more charcoal intense, but so convenient. There we go. So now it fills this in. It says anon alloy, right? Because we have way too much uh, tin in this. So we can just keep balancing this kind of out and then almost play a little bit of a guessing game. Um, but obviously I'm still gonna use the calculator online to see how much we actually need so we don't or have to do this the whole time. So because we put in four tetrahedrite, we actually want to put four times nine copper in there. So I'll do that. And then we'll try to cast directly into like a shovel cast or something. And so maybe while this is going, I'm also going to heat up these guys. Might as well, I guess. And then combine them into, you know, sheets at the same time since we have the heat going here. Uh, and then weld them together so that we can make these sheets and then double sheets, etc. Oh yeah, and actually I don't I don't think I need to keep hitting this because these actually melt at orange temperature, right? So I don't think I need to actually reach this high of a temperature, so it should be okay. Uh these, however, I think I need to get a bit higher. Does it tell us this in here? No, it doesn't say at which point they weld. Alright, so while we have this in here, I actually want to see if we can do this now. We have to smith these into wrong sheet, right? To do this, we have to just there's always like a hit last, hit second last, hit third last. We just have to match this, which are these. This moves it to the left. This moves it to the right. Um, so I think what we just have to do is get this over to the right, beyond this guy here, and then try to like align this with that thing. Oh, it's close. Nope, a little bit over. And just kind of have to figure out, there we go, where the exact thing is. Um, I'm not quite sure what the best way to do this. This is something I haven't quite figured out, not quite mastered, but we'll get there eventually. So to shrink and then bend and then tree. Aha, there we go. So if you do shrink, 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 bend, and then these little ones, then we always get it. 
I think. That's kind of how this works. Um, so these are like cooling down. Uh, we have to make four double sheets, so I might as well... Uh, actually, I might keep these and then... Because they're too cool now to keep working. I might make sheets first and then reheat them, but that might also be a bit of a waste. Maybe I should keep them heated. Like, I wrote this down. We need... Uh, we need... 12 sheets in total, and then eight of these we have to turn into uh, double sheets. So that's kind of what we're trying to do here. There we go. Our first double sheet. Awesome. And I think next time I'll probably be a li little bit quicker too. Uh, once we have two of these uh, smiths, we can probably hammer them together real quick. Something I'm realizing shortly or quickly here is that we definitely want the second hammer because... Um, Constantly taking it out for welding and then in there for working is a little bit annoying. So yeah, I'll make it. I'll make a second one eventually. I think. But yeah, so we do that. We select that. Do 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 do. Oh yeah, see hammer. Do 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 do. Done. And then we have two of these. Now that one is still hot enough, but I actually need to heat up this guy a little bit again. Might as well heat up this guy, so that we can continue hammering these or welding these so this one can weld need to get the hammer out can weld so doo -doo. done double sheet awesome and this mixed as well so we have 140 units of this 900 units of this which wait that's not correct did i put four in here how much did i put in here oh that's 25 that's right <laughs> but hey that's why this is beautiful we could just grab a couple extra and just toss them in there and get this balanced out again See, there we go. Now we have some Bronx in. Now it's an awkward number if we want to even this out. I think if we toss another 10, it might even it out. I'm not sure if that's going to be over 12% then. But that should be a nice number, at least 13. Uh, but let's see if we can do this. Yes, we can. So yeah, we can directly cast into these mods from here as well, which is awesome. Nice. But I'm going to make a bunch of ingots because we'll need them. Oh, that's cool. You can actually hold the hammer in your hand. Uh, and then you can still use that here, so you actually don't have to put it back, see? Nice. Okay, and then we need to weld these two together. Okay, so that's all the double sheets we need, four double sheets. The rest needs to be normal sheets. Okay, so we have it all, so let's see. I have one here that's hot enough, so let's put this in here, make the grease first, or the boots. Uh, so we have to do bend last and shrink Third last. I'll be probably so. So these are both going forward, right? Okay, I see. Oh no, we need to go way further over here. Oh, what? Oh, that's the wrong order. Okay. So I do actually need to start with this one and then these. I see. There we go. We got it. Unfinished Bronx boot. And now we need to combine and weld them with a Bronx sheet, which none of these are hot enough, so... So after see, let's heat up another one. Uh, and then we need to heat up these guys here to make the other pieces. We need three of them. Okay, so this one says it can work. So let's take this out. Put this in here. Oh, no, wait. It needs to say can weld. That's right. Sorry. I guess in the meantime, while that is heating up, let's heat up this guy. Select the griefs. Uh, actually, no, 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 no. I should focus on this because this might melt here in a second. So let's actually focus on this. Can weld. There we go. So we can do this, this, and it's too cold now. Ah, no. It's so stressful. But hey, our smithing is going up at least, which is nice. I and mean, if you look at this, it actually has a skill bonus already, which means it gets, it's going to get like more defense and stuff. If you do that with tools, uh, they will get like more speed and that kind of stuff, which is really, really nice, depending on how high your skill is. Okay, can weld. So we can also do this. Oh. This man. Ta da! We got Bronx boots! Nice! And I got step height. Yes! Awesome. Right, so we have two here that says can work. Uh, I'm gonna take out both because I don't want to like burn them. So let's try this again. So this one is hit any and then draw any and then bend any. And they're cold enough again. Ah, shoot. This is really. It, it's, it's tricky, man. Yay, we did it! Unfinished Griefs can work, but we need to uh, combine them still. That's danger already. Let's keep heating these up. Oh, that one was easy. 
the chest plate. And then, is this still hot enough? Nope. There's our chest piece. Nice. Still need to combine this with a small one. And then the last one is the helmet. Yeah. Oh my goodness, we did it! Oh, we got jump height, minus one armor, unfortunately, and step assist. But that is a full set. That is a full bronze set. Look at us. We did it. Awesome! I'm actually really happy about this. That's the first time I missed myself armor on Terra Firmacraft. That is amazing. Still figuring that mess out there, but that's okay. It's gonna happen eventually. Uh, running low on charcoal, so I need to do a little bit of trips there, make more charcoal again, but still going. But yeah, I'm quite happy. So we still have our step assist. We don't have our 10% speed, so I'm a bit slower. Uh, but we have a bit higher jump also, which is nice. Is that enough to like jump up two blocks? Oh, it is. With the step assist, at least. <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, now, of course, there's also like a bronze shield, for example, up here. Which we could make, but I don't know if I want to make this. I probably should because the skeletons keep kicking my butt. And that's really just a double sheet, so that's not too bad, right? So, one double sheet is what, eight? Is that? No, it's four ingots, right? I think it's always four ingots, so that's not... It's not the worst. I could probably do that, but I'm quite happy with this. We have our armor. I'm very happy about this. Um, need to drink though. So yeah, I think we're gonna call it here for the day. Uh, it's already been pretty long for me again. It's always like two hour episodes for some reason. I don't know why. So much to do in this, I guess. But it's fun. It's fun. I definitely need to, uh, you know, do more stuff with our animals. Um, get these all grown and fed and all kind of stuff. But it's gonna take a while, I'm guessing. And also the food situation. We can have another quick look, see if anything grew. I don't think so. Oh, wait, the mice is done. Yeah, the mice is done. All right, right? Yeah, it is. Awesome. So let's harvest this at least. Uh, and I think these onions are done too. Nice. And I th I don't know if the sugar cane is done. It might be. I'm not entirely sure. We only got three seeds out of that. Or saplings. I think I got actually more somewhere. And there's the garlic replanters. Which also should upgrade our agriculture. Agriculture is an expert, which is weird. That this is already so high. Awesome. But now we have a little bit of mice at least that we can feed our animals with. That really doesn't seem like a lot, does it? Uh, maybe that's a better way to do this. Corn flour never expires. Ooh. Oh, this one would give you two if we get that millstone, which we don't have yet. Grindstone for better horse thing. <gasps> we could actually get this one. Oh, we might have to set this up. Because uh, then we can get this two instead of one. And then with this, we can make dough. Or whiskey. I think with whiskey or any alcohol, we can make vinegar, which then makes food last quite a while. Um, but, let me double check here. Yeah, with corn, then we can make flour, uh, dough. And then we just cook and we get cornbread. And cornbread also never expires. Interesting. And then we can make sandwiches with this. So that would be a good idea that might be better than using this for our animals because we really don't get a lot of stuff out of here and they eat so much so i think we might actually do this i'm gonna save this i'm gonna put this in our little vessel so it doesn't go bad so have onions or garlic in here too um so this will last till may 3rd it's only what is it currently uh, october so that's gonna last quite a while in there which is awesome um and then yeah maybe next time we look into setting up the horse powered stuff as well the grinder which would be pretty neat in this uh and yeah like i said i need to do some stuff here but yeah i think that's gonna be it for the episode i hope you guys enjoyed thank you so much for watching there we go six more ingots uh and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye